Hey guys, how you doing? This is Joss from Kingdom DTF. Welcome one more time to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and also click the bell notification. So that way you know when we got new videos out there. As you can see here, I just got a print head uh, for the L1800, some cotton swab, I got my red flush fluid, and this one we have it available on our website and i'm going to explain this just a little bit and um, what we want to do here is just uh, save this printhead to storage the printhead okay so we took it out of the l1800 and the magenta channel it was a, just a little bit clogged but you know just barely to be honest it was missing just a little bit of the patterns but the, all the rest of the channel was good okay so we use first cleaning solution right then after the cleaning solution we use uh hot distilled water you know to get off uh, all that cleaning solution that stay in inside the nozzles to get it off so now it's clean and now using the red uh, flush solution, we're going to use it for storage up to 30 days, okay? So this solution is really nice. So when you're going on vacation, uh, it's going to keep the printhead moist. And that way, um, it's not going to dry fa you know, so fast, like sometimes it happens that you put cleaning solution, regular cleaning solution but because some cleaning solutions contain alcohol a percent of alcohol and all of that you know if depending where you storage uh the alcohol is going to be evaporate also you know distilled water and all of that but this one the way it's formulated it is supposed to help to ensure uh that storage time a little bit more and it's up to 30 days okay so it says here that it's four in one because this solution also work as a cleaning solution. So it's a just uh, nice for that. Also, you can flush the lines. You can flush the print head. Uh, that's two, okay? Three, you can use it for when you're going to repair a print head. So these red solution are used for for uh, fixing the print heads by technician across the US, United States. So basically what a technician do is use a red cleaning solution to test the print head. And because the color, the head is going to stay just a little bit uh, stained. And if they're missing a pattern or something like that, uh, or if they notice that some part inside the components are you know staining right there and they notice that you have uh the solution then they know what to change or how to fix it okay but you know that that's more complex for <laughs> uh to be honest for me so i'm not going to 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 talk about you know about that because i'm not a technician of fixing print heads but um uh, you know with the information from this video information from other videos you can get an idea how this uh, type of uh, cleaning solution works okay and of course number four i already talked about it that is when you're going to uh on vacation you can use it for storage and it's going to keep your print uh printed moist so because we already uh cleaned this one so what we're going to basically do is just put uh the red solution inside the nozzles and just keep it put it back uh in the box okay put it back in the box and that box i'm going to put it inside on a ziplo bag so um you know putting any print head inside a, a ziplo bag it helps you know the moist and all of that to keep out and that way you keep it closed. You can do that also um, when you clean your cartridges, you know, your dampers, you can put it 
on a simple bag and keep the moist out and that way you're going to to uh keep that safe okay so i'm going to move the cam uh into my sink you know i got a sink here that i test all of this stuff so i'm going to start flushing the print head so you're going to see the waterfall but at the same time um after that i'm not going to to clean it again i just want to this red solution to stay inside the nozzles and that way you keep it good so as you can see you know it, it obviously it's going to uh all the channels are going to be red so when you put it back to your to your printer it's very very important that you do cleaning cycles and all of that and if you want to flush it with uh let's say distilled hot water so you can get any ex excess of this resolution out and then you can do your regular cleaning uh, cleaning cycle to the printer and charge the inks again into the head because remember you're doing all of this and the head have been cleaned and it's, you know, it's going to stay out of ink so it's, it's better to make a simple charge of the inks and then the cleaning and then you continue you know you do your nozzle test and all of that okay so that's something that is really important that i want you to understand so what i'm going to do is just going to start in one of the channels here okay if you don't have any like this you know the syringe with the tubing we have on our website too so you can get a set of five because you only work with five colors and so let's make it rain so okay so you're making sure you know that your print head is not clogged or anything like that so just make it rain and that way you want to be good so let's put it this way you can see it i don't know if the cam is catching that Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit. So let's go to the other one. Yeah, I don't see the cam catching that. So I'm just going to switch right here. Okay, I switched here. So I think it's better so you can see it here. You can see the rain over there. Okay, so then you want cotton swab to clean all the excess that you got here. Okay. It's really important that you clean all these. If you see just a little bit more here, just continue cleaning it. Try to put not too much, to be honest. Just put just a little bit. I think I put too much, to be honest. And now I'm, you know, making a mess like always. <laughs> but you know, you, you get the idea, so. After this, it's going to be okay. So that's why every time you get like a like a print hit, maybe, 
or especially on, on the dual head printers that they're coming uh, direct from the factory, right? So every supplier, every distributor have different factories, but all of them work the same way when it comes to the print head. So they they send the print heads uh, with this type of solution because they know that the solution is going to keep the print head moist. So if for any chance you see print heads that have a little bit of this red or something like that, or even some dampers like the LET 100 from the manufacturer, you know, the Epson or something like that. Um, Sometimes you know, at the bottom of the tip, you see like a pinkage or so, is because they're using this type of solution, okay? And at least you can say that that was good because then they're using the correct solution to keep it moist, to keep it safe on all of that, okay? So I think this is enough guys, After, if you don't have the box, you can put it in a Ziploc bag like I said, you know, that's good to keep the moist out, it's good to keep it clean or all of that. We take a look here, this part over here, please do not wear this part over here, the electronics, because they can get a damage really easy so you don't want that that's why when you're doing cleaning solution straight on your print head when it's installed on your printer you don't want to push too much through the nozzles with the syringe because if you push too much you can one blow inside the nozzle number two that liquid can go to places that you don't want and then if it go right here when you turn that printer on back again uh, it's going to make a short circuit you know and i see this happen many 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 times with the with the le200 and different printers and then the people ask themselves, why you send me a damaged printer? Or why this printer is not working? Well, first of all, if you this and that, and you did not be careful, depending how you do your maintenance of your printer, um, you know, uh, you, even you doing maintenance, you can damage it, okay? So that's why you need to be careful, all right? So look at that, all clean already. All right, so after this, like I said before, it's going to go inside a Ziploc bag and it's going to be good for up to 30 days. Again, with the red solution all right, guys, so I think this video I've been learning off. I appreciate it so much. Uh, thank you for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Also, click the bell notification. And I will see you in the next video. I'm going to clean this. Bottom part, guys, really easy to clean, as you can see. It was all bad, you just get hot water and you just clean everything.